Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. This is Cassie, your fluency coach, and as a journalist, it might be a bit suspicious for me to say how great of a learning resource the news actually is. Today we look at Barack Obama's reminiscence of Queen Elizabeth II while I teach you a few aspects of advanced English. This will help you not only better understand the news, but also enrich your vocabulary so you never have to feel stuck with your English ever again. The first time that I uh, met the Queen was visiting London. She reminded me very much of my grandmother, <laughs> which uh, surprised me, not just in appearance, but also in manner. Very gracious, but also no nonsense. Wry sense of humor. She could not have been more kind uh, or thoughtful to, to me and Michelle. The first aspect of advanced English we'll see today is the use of conjunctions. These are used to connect words and phrases in order to contrast ideas, add information, avoid repetition, and more. In other words, conjunctions help you better link your ideas, thus feeling and sounding more fluent when speaking English. Some basic conjunctions I'm certain you've already learned are and, or, but, because, and if. However, in the clip you just watched, Obama made use of quite an advanced conjunction. Let's take a look at it again. She reminded me very much of my grandmother, <laughs> which uh, surprised me, not just in appearance, but also in manner. You can use not only or just, but also when presenting an unexpected piece of information in the conversation, such as Obama telling us what traits of the queen were similar to his grandmother's. Notice that the two parts, not only, but also, will always be used together, although we can sometimes leave out the word also. Check out these other examples. And I'm also gonna have the opportunity to talk uh, to the uh, African Union, so I'll be the first U.S. president to not only visit Kenya and Ethiopia, but also to address the continent as a whole. The Queen was not only a figure of great importance to Britain, but also around the world. Before we continue, why not pause the video and write a sentence about you in the comments below using the structure not only, but also. Here's mine. I'm not only passionate about teaching English, but also enthusiastic about learning different languages. Now, let's take a look at this other part of Obama's talk. She could not have been more kind uh, or thoughtful to, to me and Michelle. Here, Obama makes use of an emphatic structure that, yet again, will help you advance your English. Even though it seems like a negative sentence, the meaning here is actually positive. When he says that the queen could not have been more kind, the idea he wants to convey is that everything the queen did or said showed kindness. It is a way to emphasize that. There are three parts to the structure. Could not, where we see the negative modal verb could, have been, here we have the conjugated verb to be, and then more kind, is the comparative adjective. Take a look at these other examples. Hey, how's it going? I couldn't be better. This person is emphasizing the fact that she's very well, exactly as she desired. The news about the Queen's passing couldn't have been more shocking. This means the news was extremely shocking. So, how's it going so far? I was surely shocked by the news regarding the Queen, and I'm sure you would too. It sucks when you hear something big like that, but you have no one to talk with about it, doesn't it? With the Real Life app, you can have short conversations to comment on breaking news, wind down at the end of the day, or take a step towards global citizenship by learning something new about a different country. What's more, you can also use it to advance your English by listening to our weekly podcasts and practicing new words with exclusive flashcards. So download it right now for free by clicking here or in the description below, or simply search for Real Life in your favorite app store. Moving on with our lesson, I'll now show you the continuation of Obama's story about the Queen. 
Part of being advanced is the ability to listen to English, especially when the speaker makes use of connected speech. How about we do a quick listening practice? Complete the missing words. Don't worry if you don't get 100% correct the first time you hear them. This is in 2011, and we had been invited to a state dinner at Buckingham Palace. State dinners at Buckingham Palace, a little different than state dinners everywhere else. The queen was dressed up quite a bit for the state dinner, <laughs> and uh, it was a little bit uh, concerning for Michelle because as a gift to uh, her, her Majesty, uh, Michelle had selected a small, modest uh, brooch of nominal value. We reciprocated the following evening with a dinner that we hosted at uh, the American Embassy. But the one thing we immediately notice is that she's wearing the brooch that Michelle had given. And it was an example of the subtle uh, thoughtfulness uh, that she consistently displayed, not just to us, but to everybody who she interacted with. She was very mindful of uh, guests at Buckingham Palace not overstaying their welcome. She was looking at her watch and at some point said, well, okay, it's time to go. Watching and listening to the news is a great way to train your ability to understand and follow what someone is saying, even if you don't understand every single word they say. As I'm sure you're curious to know how it went, let's listen to this part again so you can check your answers. This is in 2011, and we had been invited to a state dinner at Buckingham Palace. State dinners at Buckingham Palace, a little different than state dinners everywhere else. The queen was dressed up quite a bit for the state dinner. <laughs> and uh, it was a little bit uh, concerning for Michelle because as a gift to uh, her, her Majesty, uh, Michelle had selected a small, modest uh, brooch of nominal value. We reciprocated the following evening with a dinner that we hosted at uh, the American Embassy. But the one thing we immediately notice is that she's wearing the brooch that Michelle had given. And it was an example of the subtle uh, thoughtfulness uh, that she consistently displayed, not just to us, but to everybody who she interacted with. She was very mindful of uh, guests at Buckingham Palace not overstaying their welcome. She was looking at her watch and at some point said, well, okay, it's time to go. Now, my last tip to help you take your English to the next level is with regard to vocabulary. Take a look at this part of Obama's story. Are you able to point out what the highlighted words have in common? They either have a suffix such as li, ness, or full, or they have a prefix such as over. Suffixes and prefixes can completely change the meaning of a word. This is the principle of word formation, a truth that you can start using right now to learn thousands of new words. Take a look at Ethan's explanation on this topic and make sure to watch that lesson next. Word formation basically has to do with the forming of new words with the words that you already know. The key for you to master word formation is learning about prefixes and suffixes. Now, these change the meaning of a word. Prefixes are added to the beginning of the word, and suffixes are added to the end of the word. For example, let's look at the word imperfectly. The first thing you want to do is get to the root or base of the word. In this case, the root is perfect. From there, you add either prefixes or suffixes to change the original meaning. In this example, we have the suffix ly and the prefix im. Also, notice that we use the words differently. For example, he's a perfect swimmer. He swims perfectly. 
I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and that you learned new things with it. If you would like to continue learning English with news, be sure to check out this and this next. And of course, if you'd like to test your English with news, watch this one after. Oh yeah. Are you ready? Let's go. News, news, I'm here to help deliver it, not stop it. News is news, I'm here to help deliver it.